Hi, we're back with more tips on playing the Logic Not Adventure puzzle game, ago, Zumbinis. Zumbinis enjoyed the good life. Allergic Cliffs is the first puzzle you encounter in Zumbinis. You must get your Zumbinis across the chasm by sending each one over one of the two bridges. The challenge is figuring out which bridge is the right path for each Zumbini. Let's introduce some terminology. There are four different attributes that the Zumbinis vary by. Hair, eyes, nose, and feet. And five possible traits for each variable. So noses, for instance, can be yellow, pink, red, green, or blue. Or hair can be messy, ponytail, a sprig, a fade, or a cap. At the first level of the allergic cliffs, one cliff is allergic to one trait of one attribute, say a red nose, and the other cliff is allergic to all the other traits of that same attribute. It's random which cliff has what I'll call the defining allergy and which one is the opposite. How do you start? You pick a Zumbini and a bridge and see what happens. As in many of the other challenges you encounter, you have to do a little experimentation, observation, and logical reasoning to discover how to proceed. So, the Zumbini didn't make it over this bridge, so this bridge is allergic to either a red nose, a single eye, mussy hair, or the wheels for feet. So next I'm going to try a Zumbini that has some but not all of the same attributes as this one. So let's try, for instance, sending a red nose and wheels over the, and messy hair over the top. Ah, that one made it. Now you might be tempted to focus on solving the puzzle of which cliff is allergic to which thing. But I remind you the goal is to get as many Zumbinis through as possible with determining the logic of the puzzle, helping with that. So if a Zumbini is rejected, you immediately want to send it over the other bridges I did, not try other possibilities. And if you've narrowed down the pattern but aren't sure, keep moving Zumbinis with the traits you're sure are safe first, then experiment. Remember, there are only six tries to get over the bridge. So I'm going to make a theory here that wheels can go over the top bridge and that feet are the defining characteristic. So let's try that out. And my theory just got disproved. So as I said about getting Zumbinis across, we'll immediately send this one over the lower bridge. So it's not feet that make the difference. We know that for sure now. Let's try another blue nose across the bottom. Made it. This one has some similar characteristics to the one that just went over. We're safe there. So we could be looking at only red glasses can make it over the bottom bridge. We could be looking at blue noses make it over the bottom and red over the top. We'll just have to keep going from here. Let's try the hairstyle. And she made it across. So if I had to guess, I'd say the upper bridge is the one with the defining characteristic just because we have a wider range of possibilities down here. Um, let's try messy hair on the top. No, so we now have the same type of hair over both bridges, so it's not hair that makes the difference. So it's going to be either noses or eyes. And I'm going to guess it's noses and that only red can be on the top. Once you're pretty sure you have it right, you can queue up the Zumbinis. You don't want to do that too much in advance before you're sure, because if that one got rejected, then I'd already have this one in the queue and can't stop it. And indeed, it looks like I've worked this through.
And there we go. You did it! You saved them all! To recap, in this case it turned out that the lower bridge was allergic to the defining attribute and trait of red noses, meaning red nose and beanies could only cross the upper bridge. The upper bridge was allergic to all the other nose colors, so those of beanies went over the lower bridge. The second level is like the first, but one cliff is allergic to two traits of the same attribute. So for instance, you might find red and yellow noses cross the top bridge, and green, pink, and blue can cross the lower bridge. The strategy is to pick a Zumbini, try a bridge, observe what happens, and immediately send the Zumbini over the opposite bridge if he or she doesn't make it the first time. Continue trying Zumbinis with some shared characteristics over the appropriate bridge, narrowing down what attribute, hair, eyes, nose, or feet, is in play, and then what trait specifically causes the allergic reaction. The sixth mistake is the one that sends the bridges crashing. Hope this is helpful. Post any questions in the comment section, and I'll play through level two after the end credits for those of you who want to stick around. Thank you. Okay, let's try level two. Remember, two traits of one attribute are what one of the cliffs are allergic to. So, as usual, we'll try a Zumbini. Okay, let's try another Zubini with three of the four characteristics in common. The feet are different here. And she made it. Another instance with the feet different. Now, I'm not figuring out the logic here, but I am getting Zubinis across. So, let's go for another sunglasses and sneakers have already made it across. Okay. Hmm. Could be noses, could be classes. Let's try something really different. Okay. That was maybe not the best next choice because there's nothing in common between this and beanies and these. So I'm not sure how much I've learned there. Let's try our propeller and a yellow nose up top. Okay. So here's where the logic has come into play. It's not feet, because we have propellers on both sides. It's not yellow noses, because we have yellow noses on both sides. So either hair or eyes are what's in play here. Let's try sunglasses on the top. Okay, let's assume the eyes matter. Looking good so far. So I've got red sunglasses on the top. Safe on the bottom are... I'm sorry, red regular glasses on the top. Safe on the bottom are sunglasses. So we'll do sunglasses again. Uh, the single eye is safe on the bottom. Okay, so if it so assuming it's eyes, now we just need to try and guess. Okay, so the dotted or beady eyes on the bottom. And I will send two more over. And now for the sleepy eyes. Well, we know that one bridge is allergic to two sets, two types of eyes, and the other one will be allergic to the other three. And we have three types of eyes down bottom, but only one type up top. So if we've got our three down here, it would make sense this is the two. So I will send her over the top. You've done quite well. And we've gotten through level two. Thank you. <laughs>